Good morning, guys. It's Jamie O'Brien. It is Thursday morning. Yes, it's two vlogs a week, but the cool thing about this vlog is there's been a lot of questions being asked. How do you barrel ride? Today, I'm gonna teach you how to barrel ride, and we're gonna start off with the basics. guys so bear with me I've never done a barrel riding tutorial or any kind of tutorial and let alone never surf or never taught someone how to surf in my <laughs> life shut up Grom. all right so here's step number one for barrel riding when you're paddling make sure your hands are cuffed like this you're paddling like this you're paddling really hard and then once that takeoff comes you gotta like slide and pop up and then you stay really low on the takeoff. So let's go through that one more time. Key thing at pipeline is, is when I'm paddling, I'm paddling as hard as I can. I'm using all my energy. And when I pop up as fast as I can, I'm really low to my board. I could take a late drop and I'm, look, as you can see, I'm grabbing my rail already. It's like my hands went from here to here to here. I'm gonna go through that one more time. <laughs> Okay. Big long paddles. We're jumping off really fast. Boom, we're low already. So that is the key thing right there. And as you can see, I'm still on my tippy toes back here. This foot is all the way to the left of the board. And so what's gonna happen is, is when I'm taking that drop, I start leaning into the wave. And this is called getting your balance on the wave. And, and basically you're leaning on the wave to create balance. And then once, once you start pulling up on your rail, then, then you, you, you don't have to lean on the wave as much. Unless you want, you can leave your hand dragging right here. All right, so we're paddling for the wave, we're paddling for the wave. We pop up really quick, we're grabbing rail, we're making the bottom turn, we're leaning on the wave. We're using the wave to balance ourselves. You know, it's something you can just put a lot of weight into. And as we're in the barrel, we're like this or like this. And you wanna open up your stance. That's like a real key thing. You don't wanna be grabbing rail like this. It's not a good look. Um, you don't. You don't want to be, you know, you don't want to be like this. You want your leg to be out here and your leg to be in right here and like this. This is how you want to do it. And as you're in the barrel, if you realize you're starting to come out and you want to stay in longer, you could apply your leg right under the wave where you're making the balance happen. So the, the water's coming right here and you're leaning all your weight on this and then re you release the lean. And then once you release the lean, then you could kind of like, depending on your exit, you could let go of your rail right before you come out, or you could just hold on, just because you make sure you want to make that wave. I made it, bro. <laughs> This is one of the hardest things for me is to teach someone how to barrel ride. It's something I've learned that I've never really explained to anybody how to barrel ride. But my key things on how to barrel ride is pop up fast, surf shore breaks, surf close out shore breaks, and just take as many crazy waves as you can. So you could like build your confidence up super high and realize that you could make waves that you once thought weren't makeable. So we'll try that again. I'm gonna be running it quick. Fast but it's taking no break till I sit on my dome. I don't know nothing but win. Make no mistake, no mistake when I get in my zone. I got the city on 10. All for the sake of my place, I'll be bringing it home. Squad full of hitters, don't need extra winners. The us be against us, we still do it all now. But the kids so sick, I don't need my click. I'll be killing it all alone. Used to be little dog, now I'm big holy on top of the totem pole. 
Cup your grind of competition with your net, I take it lighter Victor over victim, model of the cipher Catch them up and I'll ignite the fire Cause I came to peace, I came to peace I came to feast, I came to feast I stopped for a long time I came to eat, I came to eat No when it's go time I took a leap, I took a leap I've been jumping in no time I play for keeps, I play for keeps Right in my sleep, right in my sleep No time to cheat, no time to cheat I want the whole thing it's that easy. It's just so weird. <laughs> Promise I'm not lying, I'm telling you the truth. What, what else should we learn? Mr. O'Brien, can we try? <laughs> I take a leap, I take a leap. Better come with your way, game. So one of the things I want to talk to you guys about is, is you're applying a lot of weight on this front foot right here. So as you're coming down, you're actually using this inside rail right here. See how far my foot's over right here? you're actually using this inside rail as a fin because you're digging it in so hard. You're, you're pivoting and you're gaining speed and momentum dropping down the face. So you're, like all the weight is right here. Back here, there's not much weight. And then once you set your line, you open up and then you're like, okay, I need to get more speed. You lean on that front rail and you pump like that. And you can kind of get the same like feeling on a skateboard, but surfing is like obviously completely different, but that feeling of Getting speed is like that. It's just a lot of pivot off the front foot and that'll help you make waves that you've never made before. Someone once asked me, when do you come out of a barrel? And I looked at him and I was like, with the spit. And he's like, no. I was like, what? He's like, after the wave's done spitting and done barreling, that's how you ride the deepest barrel of your life. And basically, if you grab rail, I'll show, I'm gonna explain to you something really cool right here. Dante, come over here. Push me, Dante. Where? Just right here, like a, like a lip hit me. Lip, see, like I'm not that grip. Should I push me again? You know? Okay, so I get a little lower. Push me. See that? That was really like solid on my feet. And then try push me again. Look at that. See the, see the stability right there on the board? So if you're trying to grab rail like this, push me, Dante. Like, you know, you're not that balanced. You got to get low. The low center of gravity is the key to backside barrel riding. You know, you're pivoting off this front foot. You're really low. You want to stall, put this leg out. You know, you want to come out after the barrel's done barreling and spitting. Sometimes I can't see anything. So stay low and hold on to that rail and you're going to make waves you've never made before. All right, so we're going to talk about a few mistakes that people commonly make backside barrel riding. This is the one I see the most every time and I, I try to help people. So listen up right here. I'm going to teach you something really cool. Usually see guys like this. It's not a good look. Like this, this back leg right here, it needs to be down like this. Keeps, I play for key, move out the way. The kid became the gold and blew your future away. That is how you want to backside barrel ride. It's the most stylish, smoothest way to backside barrel ride. The most common mistake is like this. And like, bro, let me tell you, this does not look cool. <laughs> but, um, you know, and, and some people do this. They call it, this is, some people do pig dogging. And like, some people call backside barrel riding pig dogging. But there's been people in the past history that they, they, they surf like this. They grab their rail like this. Like, that, don't get me wrong, you got a good balance, but this is not a good look. And today, it's all about looking cool. So, no double hand barrel riding going down here at the O'Brien camp. It's all like this. Open up, smooth, stylish, easy to release when you're coming out of the barrel. If you wanna just act like you stood up the whole time. Oh yeah, oh yeah, one more thing. Okay, so as you're dropping in on the wave, once you get to like a higher level of barrel riding, you're gonna notice some guys drop their hip into it. Like they, boom, they hit the water super hard at the hip. The thing with the hip stall is it will drop all your speed. Like you'll be going so fast, you'll drop the hip and you'll be going so slow. It works good in certain spots of the wave. Like if I need to put the brakes on and I know the wave's not gonna barrel for a while, I just put the brakes, lose all my speed, then I end up super deep and I have to do a lot of work to make it. So a quick hip check to open the leg like this that's key right there. Um, I do that trick at Pipeline all the time. You'll see me coming, you'll see me air dropping, really confident, really low, compressed. Sometimes this, I open up, then I land, I come off the bottom and I, boy, drop my hip into it. And then as I drop my hip into it, I figure out where I am and then I apply pressure on the wall of the wave 
and then I could start reading like, do I want to stay in this barrel longer? Do I want to come out? Do I want to let go of my rail? Like, how do I want to execute this wave? Because every wave's different, and you know, you need to use what I'm teaching you and apply it on all kind of different waves. Whether it's a short break closeout, like the reason I think I got really good at backside barrel riding is because I would take boards like this, a soft top, and just go pull into closeouts after closeouts, sandbar. Like people are always like, why do you serve closeouts? It doesn't make any sense. Like we're taking off late on these waves, just practicing our skill level to, to make it so the next time I go surfing, I have all the confidence in the world that I could make any drop here at Pipeline or Backdoor. Boom. We'll get to the leisure next time. <laughs> that was a good like way to the next one. <laughs> <laughs> Click right here to subscribe and to watch more videos. I'll see you Monday. I'm out of here, Bill. Move out the way. The kid became the golden blue, your future.